Hi, I'm Guy Nelson. I'm a local wood carver. I carve bolo ties for the scouts. I'm going to show you how to carve a face with only using a knife. I've been asked to show how to do the prospector or the old timer. This is the old timer with a prospector hat on it. This is a really old one. This is about 5,000 heads ago. You can see that you can make them any size that you would like. It just kind of depends on the block of wood that you use. Take a look down the barrel of it. All of my wood starts out with a square. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is make it into a mailbox or a loaf of bread. Now this one here, I've kind of drew a few lines on it so you can see what we're going to do first. This is the bottom of the hat. This is your eyelids, bottom of your nose, your mustache, your ears, and this is the cut coming back on it. Okay, so now we got it kind of laid out. I went ahead and uh, squared this, uh, rounded this one out. So we'll go ahead and start on it. This ends a little bit more even, but this is wider on the top. So we're going to go about right there and we're going to make a cut. Now, if you've never done it before, draw your lines on it. You want to get that as square as you can. Now, if it's off a little bit, don't lose any sleep over it. You can always straighten it up a little bit later. Okay. Got a couple pretty aggressive cuts going right there. So that's the, right there. That is the bottom of the hat. Right now, I'm putting in the bottom of the ears. Let's just go ahead and put that side block in. Okay, get blocking out an ear right there. Go to the other side. If we do it to one side, we better do it on the other. Now, this is a uh, aspen wood, just out of the mountains here. You find a tree that has fallen. Most of them have been infected with a, a boar. But if you get into a forest that's been burned out, had a little lightning strike in it. That is a really good carbon wood. And you don't have to fight all the wormholes. Now the wormholes are usually on the peripheral of the log. So you get the biggest log you can find. Okay, you can see right there, we have it roughing in. Not going too bad, okay. Now that cut right there will be the top of the eyebrow, bottom of the nose, I would recommend that you take, and if you're going to start carving these, if you look, I've got a couple other video videos out, and there's a pirate, a Santa Claus. They're all pretty much the same layout. Okay, we're going to round this off. A lot of people forget this cut when you're learning, but right there's how you get your definition of your cheeks. So now for your nose, let's just kind of taper that off just a little bit. Let's round up his eyebrows. Now, this is a large rough out knife. If you haven't done it before, this Dell Green knife is a really nice one. Uh, there's another heavy knife, but the, it's a medium rough out. And if you're making some curved cuts like that, that is a semi-flex blade and it really makes things nice. Got to even up his nose. If you do it on one side, do it to the other. Just take that off a little bit. Give him a little nostril. Don't take too much time, make it too fancy here. All right, we got his nose in. Let's go ahead and put in a mustache. Make your cuts count. But as I was saying, I have a couple other videos out. Watch them, stop them and go, and do 10 of each type of heads before you move on to the next one. And you'll find that your cuts will get much more accurate as you go. I haven't carved this head for a little while. I went upstairs to get a one that I liked that was already painted and they were all gone.
We're putting in the mustache right there. We're going to do the handlebar mustache. Just making a little deeper, putting in the bottom of his beard. So the wood that I'm carving here is green, and I either like it really green or really dry. Okay, we can take, put your knife on a 45, come in on an angle, come right up to the bottom of his nair, and then you pop it out, turn it around. Now, if you haven't done this a little bit, put your thumb protector on, save your thumb. And for my friends at the Provo, uh, Utah Valley Wood Carvers, you notice I'm wearing my glove for you so you don't have to get after me for being a bad example. Okay, we got his face pretty well roughed out. Let's block out those ears just a little bit more. On aspen wood, whenever there's that dark spot there, it's going to be a little bit harder wood. Okay, take the back of his ear off and let's shape it just a little bit. That's the front of the ear. Okay, got it cleaned out. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other side. Okay, about got it. Feel free to get out your pencil, draw your lines. But there he is, he's coming. A little bit rough right here, so we'll just smooth him out. When we take our uh, gouge and put our mustache lines in, that will all fade away. So now, we're gonna take, just so I can see where I'm headed, we're gonna come from right there. Make that a good deep cut. Okay, now we're gonna come down. We're gonna go in to the top of his head right there. Okay, we're getting there. You notice I twist my wood around a little bit there so I can go from different angles. Oh, looks like that wasn't a deep enough cut. When you cut off the big chunks, you gotta make sure your uh, cuts are nice and deep so you can get a full, good even cut come off and not chip the wood. Don't pry with your knife or you'll break the tip. Don't ask me how I know that, please. If I put that thumb protector on, you wouldn't have that little mark on your thumb when you're done. Make sure if your uh, knife is pointing towards your thumb, don't move it. Move your thumb before you move your knife because if it's pointing toward it, it'll end up in it. All right, we're going to pull that up, square it up. Okay, you can see his hat's coming out pretty nice. Now, if you have one of those other blades that are semi-flexible, this will be a lot easier. The metal on the blade that I'm using with is just about twice as thick as it, and it doesn't have any flex to it at all. But I want to show you that it doesn't matter. You can use a pocket knife, a wood carving knife. But all you need is one knife. And you can carve a really fun, easy face into a block of wood. Okay, 
Let's clear that out just a little bit there. Okay, we're getting it now. We're about to where I want it. Okay, see how deep that is in there? Now you just put your blade in there. We're gonna clean it out. All those little rough marks, just smooth them up and out. Okay, this side's a little thicker than the other. Right there, you can see that? Just pop it up and out. Let's just round our top out just a little bit right there. Okay, now we're just going to round our hat, put the finish curve on it. All right, let's put our hat band on and we'll be done with this inside here. Just kind of walk it around. Trying to keep it the same height. Okay, let's take and round off our top. Let's put a little dimple here from where he grabs it to put his hat on and off. Just a little, nothing too major. All right, now we gotta fix this hat up on top here. You can see, gotta taper it down. Good piece of wood, just, you know, you got a nice sharp knife and glides right through it. All right, now we got that coming back. Okay, we're getting, now we got to make some definition for his eyebrows. We got to clean out his ear a little bit. Okay, for his ear, now put it on the 45 here. We're going to taper it back. Keep your thumb out of the way. Flatten it down and round it off. Got a couple loose pieces here we gotta just clean up and off. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put his uh, beard in. Start right up here for his hairline, drop it right down to there. It's just a big, lazy C cut. Okay, now put a little dent in there for where his cheek goes in and his beard comes out. Okay, let's take that off right there. Okay, let's 
Let's take this little bit out right there. Right there you go. Okay, here's our beard cut. That's all there is to it. Taper that up. Put in the cheek definition. Look, if you want to put a little more action into them, you can cut that off. And then you can put your knife right here and give him just a little dimple. If you do it to one side, you better do it to the other. I like that a little bit smoother on top. No, doesn't really matter. Okay, on the bottom, come in this way. Gonna make them into a bolo tie. This is where your string will come out, your paracord. Let's round off his beard just a little bit. Looks a little more natural. And just to clean that up just a snidge. And there you go, there's your prospector. You can clean up his hat just a little bit more, looks like right there. But I think that pretty well does it. If you look at some of the other videos, you can see how to carve the eyes in there using the same knife I've been using the whole time. But for this, that's good enough. Have a good day.